All right, so this is a video to help you get on the kid blog in case the class instruction didn't make sense and you need to go back and reference or you just need help. Pretty straightforward. These resources are any, everywhere, um, but just uh, to cover our bases here. So you're going to go here to the main page. It's kidblog.org. You are a student, so you're going to click the red tab that does say students. Your teacher will then provide you with a code that will be specific to your class. And so I'm just going to type one in here real quick to get in. Once you get that registration code, this page is going to pop up. Now your teacher will probably ask you to have a, some sort of parameter. I think in our case it's just going to be the first name and then the first letter of your last name. So for me, it's Aaron Maurer, Aaron, and then M. Your password, something that you're going to remember because we're not going to have access to it. So that's up to you. That makes that unique to who you are. And so you type that in and then you click create my account. The beauty of KidBlog is that it's very, very simple. And so it may not have all the bells and whistles that we all wish we have, but it's enough there to get going. And so before we get writing, it's important that we kind of take care of our profile here a little bit. So this is our dashboard. This is where it's going to allow us to add a new post, review posts we've created, check out comments, um, and everything else. But we're going to go in the profile here, and we can clean some things up. And so this is where you can have your blog title, check with your teacher on the parameters of what they want for that. For now, I'm just going to put this in. Uh, we've already got a password inserted. If you want to add your email, you can, but that's not required, um, nor is the parent code. Um, if you want to change your avatar, you can do that. Obviously, you need to check with your parent, or not your parents, excuse me. Parents, probably for permission, but more importantly, your teachers, because we're not going to be doing anything too goofy in here. Um, so let me just pick an image right now. I'll go ahead and insert this in here. Um, but I know that we like to have things unique to us. That, that's important. And that's what the blog is about because it should be your vo voice and what you're trying to um, display in your learning in your class. So we'll go ahead and upload that. And uh, you can see my picture here with a little large. So I'm going to go ahead and crop that. Add that right there. And then I should be good to go in terms of my profile. All right, you can see down here, there are some themes available. Um, at this point, the accounts are not upgraded, so that's not really going to apply to us. Ours is gonna stay at the standard kid blog blue um, because we don't have the advanced stuff. So it eliminates that right now. So we'll go ahead and update our profile. And then once that's done, we're going to go up here to Dashboard. And you can see now it's it's ready to go. So if I want to write a new post, I can go here to New Post. And obviously this is my title. This is where I'm going to type. It operates just like Google or Google Docs account or Word, whatever you're familiar with. Same kind of thing. Uh, remember to keep to the ideas we talked about with the blogging and the parameters of what your teachers have included. What's going to be very important, because we have over 300 of you, or depending on where you're at, it's always good to start thinking about how to catalog and organize your thoughts, ideas, and writings. And so you need to make sure that you always use the tags. For us, I know the teachers are going to assign those tags. It's very important that you do that. If you're in the middle of writing and it's never quite completely finished, you can click Save Draft. It'll save your work. But as soon as you're ready, it'll go over here to Publish, and it's going to be ready to be launched and seen by the world. Um, the teachers will approve it in, uh, just in beginning stages, and eventually we'll kind of unravel that where we, we get that going. Once that's all done, and you want to see what the class page looks like, you can just click up here at the top, like I did, for the teacher's name, and it's going to take you to that class. And what you're going to be able to see is everybody's post. So you can see right now there's, there's nothing in here. But as every kid's post gets approved, it'll show up right here with the, the, the latest one being posted. 
the other cool thing is that over time we'll be able to see our visitor stats. We'll be able to see who's watching, who's checking in. Um, you can see we haven't really done much of anything already, and there's already 16 views. And so we'll be able to track our visitors from around the world as we start to share that out. That, in essence, is the gist of this blog. And so you can go back to your own blogs up here. This will show everybody's blog. My blog will show your actual page with all your blog posts individually. So you can see that and others can go to your page. And if you would like to create a new one, obviously right there is the new post. That, in a nutshell, is everything. Comments at this point, it's kind of hard to show because there's nothing going on, but you'll be able to see all the comments that you leave. Or you can go here to comments for me and see the comments that people have left for you on, on your writing. And then it's always important when you are done to go ahead and click log out. Okay, so the next time that you get into uh, Kid Blog, you'll actually just go right to your class page. So we'll get this tab marked for you in, in the case of this. It's kidblog.org backslash inch one two. And then all the usernames will be right here. So right now there's not too many in there, uh, but I would just find my name. You type in your password. Computer's a little slow here, I apologize. And you log in. That might help if I hit the login button here, sorry. And then I'm good to go. I'll be right in, connected right to where I was, and um, we just keep rocking and rolling. So there it is. If you have questions, make sure you reach out. You can leave a comment. You can uh, contact me if you know if you're in the building. If you're someone outside of that, you can always leave comments on the channel. Um, and I look forward to seeing you convey your student voice, getting your ideas out there, um, and remember that people are reading and checking out what you're doing. So that is always important in terms of what you push, because that is indeed leaving an impression on who you are. All right. Have a good one.